Guys, we're in a crisis, a water crisis. Don't worry, I've got the solution. Stay tuned for this week's Just the Tip. Yeah. Wanna know what we all have in common? We all urinate. One of these days we're gonna run out of water. It is quickly approaching. And what are we gonna drink? I don't know if you knew this, but you can sterilize your own pee. Now I know a lot of people are saying, yeah, but there's other bacteria in there and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't wanna be drinking. Well, what do you do when you want to get rid of something you don't like, besides throwing it away? You boil it, right? Boiling your own urine takes all the contaminants out of it, just like anything else. You want, to, you want to purify water, you have to boil it. You want to purify a baby, you have to boil it. A plus B equals C, bring P to a boil, and you're good to go. Now, it's a little bit yellow. I don't drink a lot of water. Again, we're in a drought. I'm trying to be conservative. I'm trying to hit this early so we don't have a problem later. I'm trying to do my part by not drinking gallons of water every single week because we're not gonna have a lot of it left. So I'm gonna jump start right now, which is why it's a little darker than normal, but that's fine. So I've already boiled this. I have some ice cubes in it because obviously I don't want to drink it when it's scalding hot, but I do like the warmth. Uh, it's just very comforting, reminds me of, of, a, of a winter day and I'm, you know, drinking some hot chocolate, and it's not hot chocolate because it's, it's my own pee. As long as I don't have asparagus, it normally tastes pretty good. Now, it might be an acquired taste to some. It's completely healthy. Absolutely 100% safe to do this, I promise you. It's my word, your money back. I would say don't even use the toilet. I, I, I've completely revamped my Brita purifier. Trying to save water, guys, it's important. I know it doesn't look like it, but I am a survivalist. So this is just one of the many things I do, and I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot more things. But this is the most important. This is the most important one, I think, for right now. Ladies, I know you're thinking to yourself, I really want to do this. I sincerely want to give this a shot. I don't know if I can pee into a Brita. I'm not a guy. It's not as easy. I can't just aim it. Get a funnel. I know you have one. Problem solved. JP, baby. This is good. I'm gonna finish this whole thing while we're talking. You're gonna find that when you boil it and when you drink it, it's still gonna look like pee, it's still gonna smell like pee, and it's still gonna taste like pee, but it's not really pee anymore. Boiling takes the pee out of pee. You're just left with EE. -E. This, this is the EE -E part of the pee. Just wanna clarify that. Nice thing about drinking pee is that your body already knows what to do with it. Your body's gonna be like, huh, I feel like I've dealt with this before. Oh yeah. This. Now, if you feel a little bit of a weird sensation in your stomach, that's just your stomach getting excited for something that it knows what to do with. It's like if you, if you had a baby and then you put the baby back inside, your body would be like, ah, I've, I've, I know what this is. I definitely understand this because I just, it was just there. It's essentially the same thing you're doing with this. Only, obviously, it's not a baby. <laughs> we don't drink babies. Some people might. But you can drink the pee of a baby. And you should. No drop left behind. It's a little spicy today. All right, guys, that is it for this week's Just the Tip. Stay hydrated, save water. We're in a drought. People in India are dying. Care about that shit. Drink some pee. I'll see you next week. Did I have, did I have Thai food? It's gotta be ginger. No Thai place? I don't know, is it jalapenos and the nachos? It's definitely Thai food. I have to pee. Well, this is easy. I love how efficient this is. <laughs>